and welcome everyone. This is going to be Relaxation Episode 3, a Star Sector chilling out playthrough. So, to summarize, I have a couple of colonies and a small medium sized fleet operating at a brisk burn 9. I have some Falcons, some Hammerheads, some Drovers, really very midline. Uh, a couple exploration ships, a couple logistics ships. In terms of planets, I have two of them. My homeworld at Dune and my new Terran world at Ost. Which unfortunately has high gravity, but that's okay. Because it has bountiful farmland, ultra-rich rare ore, and plentiful organics, and some moderate ore, because why not? Okay. So what am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to do a bit more exploration while these colonies grow. So I just need to pop up to my main colony up at Dune and drop off... Actually, let me see. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. I'm actually just going to drop off my slow... Oh, never mind. It's, it's fast, too. I'm just going to go exploring. I'd forgotten I'd left this game in such a good state. My officers have leveled up. Let me level them up. No new choices to make here. That's fine. Offense, offense, offense. I love offense. There we go. Oh, that was lucky. I did not get zapped by those storms. I did get sapped by them, but now I'm out. Here's the neutron star. I am going to jump in on top of the planet so that in case I'm on a beam, I can immediately duck behind the planet. Okay. Did not need to. Here is Bobby Yaga with some probes. Probes are nice, but let me... Ah, it's also a probe. I stumbled into the corona. Well, let me quickly harvest these probes. There we go. Just some fuel and supplies. And I'm just going to let... I'm just going to let this falcon do its thing. This is a neat little build. This is an SO Falcon with phase lances, and phase lances aren't traditionally SO weapons, but they do pretty well. They do pretty well. And of course they're just going to tear these ships up. A level 19 reckless officer doesn't hurt. There we go. And SO Falcons are quite, quite speedy. Well, this is fun to watch. I'm not piloting, I'm just letting the AI do its thing. Okay, there we go. That was a nice win. And just getting more stuff. Yes, cool. Some supplies and fuel. Now, I haven't seen a research station. I might just want to check the jump points, because every once in a while, research stations are around jump points, but I don't... I don't think so. Now we're going to emergency burn across the corona. And heck, we'll just do the domain probe. Okay. Alright, I 
am not seeing one, and that's okay. And transfers jump out. Oh, excellent. The spaceport at us is done, and the mining is started. It's immediately going to be a relatively profitable planet, because it does have this nice low 125 hazard rating. Okay, well, that's very nice. Dune, meanwhile, is building my first heavy industry. I should take a look at my blueprints. It's been a little while. Oh, great! I have legions and conquests. It looks like I have both the midline and the low tick blueprint pack. That's fantastic. Let's see what else, what else is in this star system. Just a barren world. Some probes. Probes are nice. Everyone likes probes. Just little supply dumps. Yeah, I agree, Nate Wash. Sorry I didn't see your message before. The, yeah, the dual heavy blaster is just... Okay, frozen frozen world. Cool. Oh, plentiful volatiles. I do need volatiles at some point. Dual heavy blaster is too much for a falcon. I wonder how ion blaster would do on a falcon. Say heavy blaster, ion blaster on an SO falcon. That could be crazy. Just take a look at where that intel was pointing me. Okay, so it's uh, around the black hole. Uh, there's probably nothing here. This looks like an empty system, which is fine. Let's see, there's a probe. Oh, there's something near the sun. Uh, I just don't like fighting them. It's not very fun. I'd rather explore just to see what's over here. I'll fight them on my way out. Alright, it's a sun it's a probe in the corona, which is even less useful. Well, let me do this quick fight. Ah no. And I'll just do this myself with my blatantly overpowered SO hammer ham SO hammerhead. I think I think both SO and chain guns near need to be toned down a bit. Although it could be the combination more than anything else. Oh, it's so busted. It's so busted. Do you outspeed me? You do. Well, this might take forever. I might have to deploy another ship just to catch this thing. Come here, look. Look how vulnerable my engines are. Ah, I didn't even do it. What kind of weapons do you have? You have no guns? Oh, it has no gun. How very strange. I've never seen that before. Um, okay, well, what's the... That's... Um, that kind of sucks. It has no guns. Yeah. Well, I think... Uh, do, do any of these have interceptors? Now, you got Xyphos. You have Dagger Broadsword. You have Dagger Broadsword. I actually don't have any ships that are fast enough to catch this thing. Um, so. Huh. JD Kali says, why no unstable injector? Honestly, because usually usually I'm not fighting ships that go faster than 180. Um, well, I mean, the thing is that if I retreat, then I don't get any of the supplies, and I still need to fight this ship. Um, I think I can pin it against the wall. Let me try to pin it up, pin it against the wall and see what I can do. 
Let's see, is the AI gonna cheat? No, oh, there we go. Get over here. Haha! -ha. Cool. <laughs> Alright. That was bizarre. There we go. I think I actually... So, because it was a single frigate, my peak performance time actually wasn't ticking down. Alright. I got some intel out of that. Welcome to the stream, everyone, by the way. It's nice to see people. Yeah, not enough enemy presence. I think you need two frigates to cause a destroyer to tick down. Rich rare ore is around the black hole. Well, I might as well go to that black hole. Let's see, do I have any colony threats? No, there are no colony threats. So. Now, what was I working on when it came to my skills? At some point I need more colonies. Because I found so many good wor worlds. I do have quite a lot of good skills left to take though. I think I'm going to save it up for now, see if anything particularly fancy comes up. <laughs> hey, sometimes I, sometimes I play very heavy indus industry skills, and it's nice. Um, and sometimes I don't. This was, this is pr practically no mods. So I found that I didn't, I didn't really need the, um, didn't really need the ship salvaging. Hmm. A kind of an empty system. Cast giants often have something, something, and the black hole itself can have something. <laughs> Not looking that interesting, though. That? Probe. Well, sure. I don't think there's anything out here, but just to check. Yep, so that was a bit of an empty system. That's okay. Let's see, how are the bounties going right now? I think I need to get back in range of a comm relay to do another bounty. Um, you know, I did, I did want to get back up to Dune eventually. So I'll just go north. I'll explore these two, and then I'll head back into the core. And I'll drop off a bunch of my loot at Dune. Unf ooh, I do have transplutonics to build one. You know, I normally don't carry transplutonics around. I guess I have some from an event of some sort. I think I need 10 more metal. I keep dumping my metal just as a time-saving measure, and that may be a mistake. Oh, this is a big system. Got some stuff over here, though. What do we have? Probe, probe. Well, the probe will give me metal, it's true. <laughs> I've never seen one with no guns before. Yeah, I agree, JD Cully. That's a it's a good idea. I usually do that too. Well, usually what I try to do is I just find one in the system and then I convert it, because then all I need to do is take heavy machinery. <sighs> I'm very happy that I now have the 
couple mods and skills that let me ignore solitary salamanders. And the falcon's doing his job. Not this playthrough. So this is my, this is my, I don't feel like being murdered by Cabal and everything playthrough. So this is just relaxation. I'm just playing this for fun. All right. That's enough of that. And I'm just going to quick... I'm going to pop out and then pop back in. Yeah, I lose more ships to Cabal. They tend to run blazingly fast fleets. All right. What do we have around this volcanic planet? Looks like nothing. But the point is close by. Oh, jeez. I know. They, they come streaming out of the jump gates straight for you. There we go. Arm relay. Oh, there's a pirate base right next to Dune again. I should go, because there's Dune. I should go take that out. Yep. It'll get me 200,000, too. Well, I'll just finish... Um, oh, this, this looks like an empty... Empty red system. But every once in a while, you get a lot of stuff. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we have. Ah, it's just a probe. Let's see if this is all just probes or whether there's anything interesting here. I think I might have lost Iron Tech Episode 1, which is a terrible thing to say, but I think for some reason it didn't get uploaded to... It should have gotten uploaded to YouTube automatically. I'm not really quite sure what's what's wrong with this. YouTube changed their portal or something. Restream is not working with YouTube anymore, which is actually... I need to figure out some way around that for the tournament. Yeah, YouTube, they introduced some sort of new creator's dashboard, and it doesn't interface with previous things correctly. Yeah. This was a bit silly to go through these clouds, but I have a lot of supplies. And here we are. Let's do this quick pirate base. I don't think I can take battle stations yet. I don't think I can do these 310,000 Ludic Path bases. I am hosting the next tournament round. The next tournament round actually isn't the final. Um, there's going to be, because it's double elimination, so the the loser's bracket could technically um, still come back to win. So there's actually like four streams left. Um, and the streams just are going to get a little short. Um, that's going to be interesting. We're going to start doing best of threes. But even with best of three, there's still going to only between, be between eight and ten matches. All right, so I'm just deploying my officer chips here. I have my SO Falcon, my regular Falcon, two regular hammerheads. Wow, it's very low hull. Ah, it has compromi compromised hull. Okay. <laughs> okay, there is the enemy. I don't actually care about taking it. I just wanted to get my horses. All right, Falcon P. Eh, let's kill a Falcon P. It has a lot of torpedoes on it. 
I don't want those torpedoes impacting me. There we go, Falcon P down. You okay? Oh, oh god, you're so tricksy. Let's see, my Falcon is in trouble. It's a reckless officer. It dove right into the fray. It's doing pretty well, actually. It took a t took a torpedo hit, but nothing terribly major. Hello. Hey, Falcon. You wanna uh, point somewhere else? Okay. And I need to back off. Now the rest of my... Oh, really? The entire rest of my fleet. No wonder the Falcon and I are, like, having some trouble here. The entire rest of the fleet is chasing a phase ship. I need more interceptors. I have very few interceptors in my fleet. I actually have no interceptors in my fleet. I think they're the most valuable type of fighter for most of the game. Um, because honestly, a ship like this Hammerhead is so much more powerful than a bomber carrier. There we go. Falcon is killing, looks like, one of the last enemies over here. There it goes. Alright, kill your broadswords. You got face beams. There you go. And good enough. Any cleanup left to do? Uh, that shade's gonna get away, it's too fast. I need to get some, like, sparks or wasps. Sparks are overpowered. Uh, okay. Well, that's nice. There we go. Ooh, overcargo capacity. Whoops. Now, where is their station? There we go. Commander Warsat Station. Hey, my officer's leveled up. I've got some 20s now. There you go. And I clicked the wrong space. Damn. Uh, we'll do power grade modulation too. Now I screwed that up. You were on my SO Falcon. Now I have this reckless carrier officer that I... Like... In theory, they're powerful, but I need a legion for them. Either a legion or a mora. Alright. I really, um, this should be fine. Yeah. That should be more than enough. Can probably just do this with a hammerhead, but this is fun. I, li I really like falcons for assisting the stations, because they actually have enough shield hit points to last for a little while. Sometimes destroyers just get melted by stations. Okay, we have two carrier modules, and they're using piranhas. That, as long as I'm a little careful not to get hit in the rear with bombs, that's actually a rather low threat. A rather low threat station. Alright, there we go. Nearby threats are, are gone. I'll get out of here, let my falcons do some work. Ooh, there's some HE mixed in there. Assault chain guns are also excellent anti-fighter. Yeah, I mean, some people have found fal 
counters for Veyra that are not within the tournament rules. Um, like some some multi multi capitals actually hold out very well against Veyra's fleet. Um, I think someone submitted a 150 multi capital that did it, but nothing that was in the tournament rules. Hey, this Falcon is actually doing the right thing. Ooh, good Reaper hit. Although you hit your friend with your other Reaper. There we go. I think Veyra is probably going to take it, though. Their fleet is just uh, a little too powerful. There we go. That was a very easy 200,000. Pirate stations really are the way to go. And how are things going? I've got some bigger bounties that I could go and kill. A little out of the way, though. Um, nothing in my area. Yeah, that one's got 10 days. Only 10 days, so I can't get there. Hmm. <laughs> It has 40 days. Ooh, there's a pirate. There's a Falcon 14 there. Yeah, I'm going to go do that one. That one looks really fun. I think I can get down there in 40 days. Especially because I can go... Um, I'm going to drop by Dune. That sounds fun. That looks like a fun little bounty. No, Vera's, Vera's the one running the omens. They're just doing its omens and falcon peas, and that is it. Yeah, and the falcons have wasps on them, so they have seven converted hangar wasps in the fleet. It's nasty. All right. Now, all this is fungible, but I should store my weapons. I've got some alpha cores and stuff. I might convert one of my drovers into... Yeah, thunders, actually. Maybe I should convert convert it into thunders, but I only have one thunder. Um, I'll just keep them for now. They're fine for now. Now, this planet is building... Okay, it's seven days left on heavy industry. So I'm actually going to install my pristine nanoforge. That's nice. And I am going to... I'm actually going to cool it under the growth incentives a little bit, because this planet needs some defenses. Hi, Wolf Almighty. How's it going? I really need to get some medium missile blueprints. That is what I need. All right, so the orbital station's being built here. This wants full maxed growth incentives so I can get farming laid down. I'm doing pretty good. I am just playing my relaxation playthrough. I'm about to go kill a um an onslaught bounty. All right, let's see. Um, I'll keep a uh, hundred in case I want to build a beacon down there. I really should sell this stuff, but I'm in a little bit of a rush to get to that bounty. Yeah, that poor onslaught is gonna get flanked. I don't have um I don't have the biggest fleet, but they're it's a very speedy fleet. The only thing I'm a little worried about is this this uh let's see. Ice giant in a binary world. I think this is the only binary. Yeah, I can get there. <laughs> yes, maximum relaxation. Okay, now what is my... All right, it says 14 days. Oh, I want to avoid these storms a little bit. That wasn't too bad. I th So I think I should make it for the bounty. Yeah. I love having a light fleet. So these, you know, these are burn 9 by default. I need to get rid of this. Ah, I was just at my home world. I should have dropped this off. It has increased maintenance, for God's sakes. I'm carting around... 
my colonization ship with increased maintenance. That's just poor. Oh well. Yeah, and my Falcon Ps are light are light cruisers. Okay, so that was a big turning point for my colony. I now have heavy industry and all right, my ship quality is up to 95%. I could start making some stuff. I'm a little low on credits though. I think I'm just going to let this be a credit powerhouse for a little while. Um <laughs> I do like I do like piloting conquests. I have the blueprint. Maybe I should make a conquest. Let me just take a look at my doctrine. I've got some stuff. Legion conquest confirm. Ship size all the way up. Ship quality all the way up. I just uh yeah. I don't have quite enough. Ah, uh, I don't I don't have quite enough. I don't have quite enough quality or enough industrial capacity yet. Yeah. Me burning through my supplies really fast. Actually, not too fast. The fleet is not so enormous, so I don't actually take a massive. I don't take a massive penalty from storms. All right. So I am in the neighborhood, but not there yet. And I haven't actually explored these yet either. This looks like a. Pro fairly promising uh, system. Yes, I am about to resupply. Well, I'm about to resupply as long as I don't get my butt kicked. I think it's actually going to be a fun fight. Alright. Are you the only planet in this system? There's no one here! Ice giant in a binary star system. I'm in the wrong place. Is this a bin? Aether and Zesbeth must be a binary. Whoops. Well, I might as well just salvage this. And sensor bing. Nothing. Transverse jump. Okay. Well, I guess I explored that system. I'm running a little short on time, but not too short. That looks like an ice giant to me. Yeah, Atlon, ice giant. Hostile and a threat. <laughs> That's a reasonably sizable fleet. Cool, sounds fun. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fun stuff happening right now. The recent publicity has really jacked up interest, and a lot of people are streaming these days. All right, I actually am. Oh no, no, I don't. I don't need sensor jammers. Yeah, wouldn't mind nav relays. Well, we'll see how this goes down. I don't really have very many frigates. Hello there. Are you an SO Lasher? You were an SO Lasher. You got a little too close. Okay. Not seeing anything horrifically dangerous yet. So far, so good. I'll make sure my carriers don't get murderated. Oh, this is too spicy. Too spicy. Xyphos. Xyphos from a drover. <laughs> now I actually am going to set a salt order over here. I don't want this carrier getting too far out of position. Alright, are you are you alone enough for me to uh There we go. Ah, oh, those Xyphos are so clutch. Nice. 
But those are those are Zyphos, six Zyphos from a drover. And I am really happy to have them escorting me. So oh, rough. A little too much alpha there. A little too much alpha for me to be able to take it out. Okay, how's my fleet doing? My fleet's actually doing really well. Um, I'm going to get rid of this order. But I just want... Where's my third carrier? There's my third carrier. I just want them to, like, chill out over here. <laughs> my carriers, that is. Yeah, these officered, officered high alpha sunders. There we go. Oh, sh whew, lucky there. And SO dodges all the rockets. How's my fleet? Um, fleet is just being harassed by these phases. Ugh. Ugh. Stupid phase. It's, I, I'm really, I'm really not sure how I feel about phase ships. Like, they're a good idea, and they were meant to be in from the beginning, but they're more annoying than anything else. Alright, I'm just going to take out this flanker. And I'll take out you while I'm at it. Because now that you don't have any help... Oh, joy. There we go. That was close. <laughs> Let's see. I don't, I don't really feel like tangling with this onslaught. Now, I am about to run out of peak performance time, which is a little annoying. Like, honestly, the main reason I, I bring interceptors to a fleet is simply to deal with phase shifts. Uh, too spicy, too spicy, too spicy. Oh, God, hell war. Thank you, Zyphos. That was very nice PD. All right. Are you finally about to? Yeah, they're they're gonna see out CR out very soon. The good battle line. Oh, hello there. You shouldn't have done that. All right. So fighter strike on you. We're just gonna kite, 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 and there we go. It's surrounded. It's fighter strike. Xyphos locked it down. There are the harpoons from the drover. There we go. So that was a ill-advised burn drive. Ah, and finally the freaking phase ships are gone. Whoops. Hello, Onslaught. I'm just going to get that same fighter strike on the onslaught. Ooh, turreted mining blasters on the falcon. Are you what what are you doing? Get get away from the onslaught. Why do my drovers always try to melee things? They're not aggressive personality. Hey, that was really real idiocy on the part of that drover. Um, that ruined my perfectly good flank to have me come over and try to save it. Um, that's why I don't use carriers very much. They just, they're much stupider than gunships. Uh. All right, 
I've got my flank on. Now, as long as that throw over there doesn't try to melee this ship, I should be relatively okay. I have taken a lot of damage this fight. That's kind of what SO hammerheads are for. Here we go. And just using this corpse. Here you go. Got to see my SO my SL Falcon has started to take some CR damage. And some real damage too, but that's okay. Alright, I just need... I'm going to order a full assault because it's time for my ships to just close in and finish the job. And there we go. I hope I can recover that, that falcon. Yeah, I, G I agree, J.D. Cully. Yes, ion beams, yes. I have been finding the um, the Xyphos Drover has been performing extremely consistently. Not always effective, but often effective, whereas the bombers are much more hit and miss. This should do it pretty soon. Yeah, there we go. I did get overloaded by the explosion, but... Is that it? There's a hound! A glorious hound! A almost dead hound. <laughs> Bombers are literally hit or miss, it is true. I was trying to kind of create a more consistent bomber with broadsword plus dagger, but I don't, um, I don't know. It's not bad. There we go. I do like daggers because the tracking on the Atropos is really good. So, I took a decent amount of damage um, and a decent amount of CR loss, but I did take out the whole fleet. Oh, no, no, Thunder survived. Aha! Kill it. There we go. Yeah, no, that was a very, very solid fight. Oh, no! My ship recovery is three worthless ones. Lame. Eh, I got some decent weapons. I did get 230,000, like, which is a pretty, it's a pretty nice amount for a not too hard fleet for this, for these ships. Ah, oh, the level 20 officers are so powerful. There's the range increase, great. And you have seven. None of my officers really have the perfect skill breakdown, but that's okay. I think one of them might actually have a really good skill breakdown. Now this one doesn't have shields. This is actually a pretty good skill breakdown. Um, evasive action and defensive analysis, defensive systems are both really, really good. Okay, how are my colonies doing? I've been kind of flying about a bit. So Dune is actually not construction constructing anything right now. It's out of indus industry slots. I could upgrade a bunch of stuff. Pretty good for right now, though. Os is building its station, and its growth incentives are maxed out. Yet yeah, the the shield booth boost from defensive systems is really really good. Um, the AI loves to use its shield, and it's basically free hardened shield plus other things. I think I'm just going to jack the growth incentives and just get more, a larger colony. That sounds really good. Ah, so the enforcer was recoverable. I don't want an enforcer. All right, now, is there anything interesting in the system while I'm here? Uh, rocky metallic, toxic, not really. I think I am just going to bug out. Yeah, paragons are paragons are great with it. Actually, I should take this skill. 
because I've been flying SO ships. <laughs> I've been going a little, like, you know, there are a couple skills here I could take. Ah, well. I don't really need anything right now, so I will hold off. Avoid decision paralysis by... wait. Succumbing to it. Darn. Okay, I'm already down... I'm already down here. Um... But I don't... I don't really see any bounties. I'm just gonna explore this yellow star. Maybe I'll plop down that, um, makeshift comma ray. Let's see if anything else has popped up on the news. Ooh! Oh, this is a high danger system. I don't know if this fleet... Well, first of all, the CR in this ship is big trouble. Welcome to the danger zone. I don't know if this fleet can can handle a brilliant. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe one. We got a dent. I will. I will take a look. There's a tundra world over there. Oh, brilliance, I can. Sorry, I meant radiance. Brilliance, I think I could take several. I think I could take three or four brilliance with this fleet, but radiance are really hard. Like I don't think I can take that fleet. What do you think? Should I just try it? Okay. Well. My CR is really low because I got hit by storms. It's going to take me um, a bunch of days, actually. I think this only recovers 4% per day, so I need like 10 days. All right, well, I'm just going to explore for now. I am playing normal mode, so I can, I can reload a save. So I might just see. Um, so it's an SO ship. And then it got hit by storms. Um, so uh, it, it just got a lot of thing. I mean, I'm just playing for fun. Like, these are not fights that I would do normally. Like, I, I do that bounty normally. I wouldn't do a Radiant normally. One, two, three, four Destroyers, three Brilliants. So SO doesn't... Oh god, there's so many of them. SO doesn't affect um, recovery, but it meant that instead of losing like 12% CR, I lose like 30, because that, that last fight went a little long. Now it's like, one of these Ordos is fine. I just don't... I don't want to take out all three of them. But weapons caches can be really good. Alright, there we go. I've... Now this this is going to be actually a quite reasonable fight. Um, yeah. What are you? Are you Xyphos? No. So this is a this is a a warm up. I can see how my fleet works against remnants without having to fight a giant enemy all at once. There's some sparks. Oh, I love LRPD lasers. I love them on a fleet. Get back. Just that, that beautiful long-ranged anti-missile. Just saving me from just a pain. Oops. Oh, God, I got flamed out by that, too. That's no good. Actually, let me get engaged there. Yet, yeah, I mean, salamanders really are one of the most dangerous missiles, especially if you're a SO ship that is relying on maneuverability. Ooh boy, phase lance to the face. There we go. My flux is going down. Oh Jesus! Ah, get out of the way! Just get out of the way! Go anywhere but right into me. All right. So this has actually gone really poorly. So I'm glad I I took on a small f a small fleet first. I 
like, how annoying. I don't have any interceptors in my fleet. That's the problem. It's these little guys more than anything else. All right, these two are just taking out the Brilliant. The Brilliant doesn't stand a chance there. It's mainly these the, the their frigates that are actually doing me the most damage. Let me just go in and kill this. Ignore the frigate. And body block. And you can see it's flamed out. It's the engine damage more than anything else. There we go. Oh god, one single tiny little sliver of health. I want to see how many hull points this has left at the end. Oh no, 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 don't collide with me, you'll die! Jesus! Uh, yeah, so it's actually their capitals did rel- not their capitals, their cruisers did relatively little damage. It was these frigates that did most of it. Um, that phase lands frigate was extremely effective at flaming out enemies. Just, just retreat. Just go away. You have literally zero hull. Literally zero. Look at that. Hold on. Can I get a? Can I get a hull? Six. Six hull left. All right. Can I, you know? I'm actually gonna transfer command and stop. Because if it hits a single asteroid, it'll die. All right, we're transferring command. I'm holding down the C key, and I'm turning on the shields. <laughs> now, these ships have abnormally long peak performance time. I think it's a major design flaw of remnants. Um, that their frigates have such long peak performance time. I think they should be cut in half or maybe even cut in two-thirds. It should be 120 to 180 seconds rather than 360. I think it's absurd that these ships have destroyer level plus CR. All right, there we go. Well, that went terribly, but I didn't lose any ships, so... Sure! We'll call that a win, question mark? Question mark win? So this, is, this one is going to take a hundred supplies to recover. I mean, the good news... Oh, there's a spark. Nice. The good news is that I'm running dark... Um, I'm running dark in a debris field which actually means that my sensor profile is extremely low. Now, I am actually going to... I know this is, like, heretical, but I am going to be doing a in... in space refit. Oh god, 31... Apparently I'm not. Wow. 45 supplies. 45 supplies. Apparently I'm not. I was going to put the spark on. I don't know why that's so high. That is really high. I wanted to put the spark on so I had some p some interceptor cover, you know? But, um... Jeez. And I'll do one more salvage here. Okay, so it is going to take... 18 days for that ship to get back up. It got really, really brutally wrecked. There's that nice defensive subsystem 3. Now, I do have a lot of really high-level officers. Um, it might be time for me to move up to burn one more burn level. Because right now I'm running at dis destroyer burn level. Yeah, this this planet's really nice. It's just giving me a nice sixty thousand. I'm not sure actually if I have eagle blueprints. Let me check. I can always buy them, of course. No, I don't have eagle blueprints. They're not included in the basic pack. Now that I cannot take. My crew are like, 
I, I, I might just go by the Persian League and buy some Eagles. I'm not, I'm not playing a, you know, can't buy anything run. Oh, it's a 125. That's not a very good one, though. Okay. Eagles are just really good. Now, do I have... Yes, I have the Phase Lance and the Ion Beam. That's great. My preferred Eagle has two Phase Lances and one Ion Beam. I really like that loadout. Usually either two or three kinetics on the front. Sometimes I'll do two kinetics, one HE. But I really like ion beams on both Falcons and Eagles. Uh, I'm really low on supplies. I don't. I actually don't have the supplies, even though there are ruins here. I need to kill a couple remnants and not get uh, murdered by them. Oh, hey, there's a mining station. Ooh. Oh, no. I forgot about my loan. Well, whatever. I am hostile to the Tritac. Whoops. Uh, there's really nothing. I got, all right, got some supplies. Nothing particularly interesting here. I completely forgot about that loan. Kind of down on heavy, kind of down on heavy maulers recently. They're not bad guns, but they're just really low DPS. I do really like heavy needlers. I had been using heavy auto cannon. Yeah, that's true. I have been using heavy auto cannon. Did I miss a supply cache? Weren't they orbiting a supply cache and I ran away from that? Maybe. All right, how's my ships? Almost, almost fully repaired, actually. Cool. <laughs> I'll just take that. Okay, that's that's a fleet I can take. And hopefully better this time. I'm actually not going to be quite so arrogant. I'm going to try to play that a little better. I really love the burst. Like, the Heavy Needler in past versions was a little lackluster. But it's really good this time around. All right. There. Ooh, that's, you've got a lot of torpedoes and... Sabos and torpedoes, huh? I need to be a bit careful about you. And I'll just cover my falcon friend's flanks. And I didn't get the kill, but I... Oh! Why is my ship spinning? Whew! A lot of autocannon fire there. Thankfully, the Xyphos blocked all the missiles. Oh, jeez. What overloaded you? Wow, these remnants! It's these Sabos! It's like I'm fighting a tournament fleet or something. Go away, tournament fleet. Yeah, there goes the overload. Oh boy. Guess who's reloading? It's me, it's me. Yeah, that was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. Those overloads and... Overloads and kill. I mean, that is the downside of flying SO ships. That Falcon and I needed to get close to get the kill. And that... Oh, no, 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 no. No, just turn it online. Cool. And because we needed to get close... <laughs> yes, Vera is laughing. Because we needed to get close, um, the missile burst absolutely wrecked me. I mean, you know, if I was, if I was flying a more... If I was flying a longer range ship, it's much less... Um, powerful. Because all you need to do... All right, I'll, I'll try this fight, see if I do any better. All you need to do if you have a longer range ship is have decent, you know, decent PD. And all of a sudden the Sabos become less deadly. 
All right, let's get that defend order down. Oh, this one has a frigate swarm. Okay, so I did kill a frigate. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be significantly more careful. Um, God, that the ship is all already. Ah, it's a reckless officer. Oh, but that LRPD doing a pretty good job keeping it alive. It's still it's still charging forward even though it's overloaded. Okay, it survived the initial hit. Sometimes they 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 can activate outside of PD range, but I find that the overload is far less likely to happen. All right, now I'm going to get over here. All right, my fleet is doing much... Now that the initial horrible charge is over, my fleet is actually doing pretty well. All right, there we go. Um, all right, I need to go down here and save my... save my drover. Actually, I'm going to get an engage order down here and see if I can get some other ships to also come help out. Ooh, this is a plasma cannon and auto cannon. That's actually a reasonably strong, reasonably strong ship. You're also in deep shit, so you get down there. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the, the AI is... um. Like this particular carrier AI, for example. It's like, these drovers are reasonably fast. All right, there's one. Uh, good, the drover, the drover got away. I can cancel that eliminate. This drover got away. I can cancel this order. Cool. When the, uh, when there's a joint battle, and the enemy is helping. Ooh, two cruisers all at once. Probably not. Oops, hello, Heavy Needler Fire. Heavy Needler and, and Plasma Cannon, that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this engage order. Yeah, it's really not, it's not, you know, I'm being a little, a little unfair in my assessments, but. Oh, let me just kill these frigates. They can do serious damage when they're flanking. Stay bowed. Cool, cool, cool. So this hammerhead is slowly winning. I prefer it over here, but... There we go. Okay, there goes my SO, my SO Falcon. And I do have a fighter strike on this. So this broadsword should hopefully help. Falcon's backing off, that's okay. All right, but its shields are now down and my assault chain guns are doing their jobs. Oh, but I got Sabo'd. Uh, that's no good, no good, no good, Sabo's. That's gonna cost me my flagship. Maybe? LRPDs, save me, LRPDs! LRPDs actually did save me. Nice. Okay, good. So that ship got taken out. There we go. I was a little too greedy. You are being a little too greedy over there also, Falcon. Oh, what the hell overloaded me? I was looking at my Falcon instead of me. Oh, nice job, Dagger. I'd still prefer if you were a hammerhead instead of a drover, but, um... You are not doing awful. Okay, seriously, you are my Xyphos. Can I just get in a... Uh, both of you, just ignore it. Just ignore it and get over here. 
I need interceptor swarms. I do like flying a fast ship because I can do things like that where I get in front of one of my allies and save them. There we go. That's better. Cool. Okay. So that was take two. Dodging missiles bugaloo. And now we have the ultra long CR of these frigates. I love this default hammerhead with railguns and heavy mortars. I find it's performing really well. Like this ship was fighting remnants this whole time, and it's it's fine. It has a level twenty officer. But actually these are these are officered too. I think a slightly closer detonation time. I think that's I think that's a good solution. Cause as you as you said, um they really go outside of PD most of the time. There we go. Okay, that was actually good. I did lose forty crew, which which is annoying. Yeah didn't get anything good actually. No no only a gamma core. Uh, no sparks, but that's okay. Oh, heavy needler, that's good. Yeah, I I gotta get out of here. Um, I think I'm just gonna pick up the supply cache. Yeah. Fully fueled up. That's always nice. Uh, no, I don't need a wolf. Oh, hey, cool. Kopesh wing blueprint. That's always nice. And I got a couple other smaller blueprints. Some guns. There we go. That's a pretty mi nice supply cache. I am quite a bit faster than the remnants at this point. Alright, I'm just going to get out here, transverse jump out. So factions use their own blueprints, but they don't use the ones you sell them. The only- oh, flickering. The only exception to that- oh, oh, uh, wrong button. The only exception to that is the pirates. If you sell blueprints on the black market, then the pirates will, will do them. Okay, well, at least I know where a good farming system is. I think that might be the first triple ping I found. I suppose I could go attack the Tritac a bit. They did just declare war on me. Or I could just do a bounty for them and get them back to neutral, but that's no fun. Everyone needs enemies. Now, I do have some admins. So this actually doesn't help, despite the fact that I have practically no skills. Um, yeah. Okay, that's three hundred thousand. I that's a little, a little tight for me. Oh, I never installed a com relay. Okay. Hmm. I think it might be time for me to retire my SO Hammerhead and Falcon soon. They didn't. They didn't do. Like they did okay. The Falcon did okay. The Hammerhead was not quite great. All right, I am going to go into the core worlds and buy some decent cruisers. I think I'll go buy the Persian League. Persian League often has good stuff. I'll check out... I'll just start on the edge and wake my way in. Ooh, I do want to be careful of these storms, though. I'm a little low on supplies. Lower than I like to be, at least. Persian League has a lot of ships that I like. Oh, that's going to be a... Arr, cloud, 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 cloud. So many clouds. 
I might actually have to be careful about supplies on my way back in. Are you a mobile supply dump? Nah. You're just an expedition fleet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. I'll make it. Ooh, there's a 320 pirate base right back down where I was. I should have. Ah, I should have. I should have made uh made something. Oh well. And there's another one up near my colony. They just love to spawn up there. Huh. Huh. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, my Azur Navy has what, like four different types of, uh, four different types of hammerheads, something like that? I should do a Mayasura run. Hello, Madeira. How unfortunate. I won't waste time enumerating the reprisals you shall face. Well, Tritac, I guess you are my enemy, because I couldn't be bothered to remember you. Eh. All right. Now I do have a lot of stuff to sell. I have for the open market. I have a whole bunch of blueprints. Blueprints. Hundred thousand blueprints. And on the black market, I have. How are you? Oh, you are actually reasonably high priced here. Not like the highest, but that's fine. And how about you? Good enough for jazz. There we go. And I am going to keep a few of these just so I can build a single comm relay. There we go. Good enough. Survey data. <laughs> hey! Money, 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 money. All right. Now, unfortunately, I did only get one Spark LPC. Do we have any weapons I really want? No, not really. Mm. <laughs> oh, I do need supplies, right. Buy quick 200 supplies. And I need crew. Get on board, y'all. I'm fighting Tritac. Meanwhile, everyone at this station is just like, what are you doing? I could get an omen. Sure. Omens are fun. Omens are actually worth using. As an AM blaster, and a reaper, and there's my hardened shields. 12 caps. And I do want. Um, Let's see. <laughs> I do want hardened subsystems since this is campaign. And unstable injector, resistant flux conduits, and I might as well throw in a couple vents. There we go. Nice. Got a nice little support omen. I want to reconfigure this ship for interceptors. Uh, spark and... I guess Spark and Claw. I really want Spark Spark, but Spark Claw will get the job done. Cool. And that is enough for this ship to get. So oh, nope, can't get expanded missile racks. Do I want it to have expanded missile racks? Ah, it's fine. I'm just gonna make it not die so much at a sleep at a sneeze. You know, I've never really been able to get piranhas to work. I'll be perfectly honest, they just things are too fast. They're good against stations. They are good against stations. Yeah, 
Okay, there's a hammerhead for sale, there's a heron for sale. I'm not very interested in carriers. I want some nice cruisers. Um, I suppose I'll check Cibola. Who, me, officer? I didn't just sell like 500,000 credits of stuff on your black market. Not me. It was someone else. Some other... Some other captain. Yeah, similar stuff. No eagles. Maybe I should drop by the hegemony. Hegemony often has eagles. Alright. Cool. Alright, I have supplies, I have fuel. Um, I'll drop by Kazaron. Kazaron's a really big market. Whew. 300 ship path pather fleet. Was that in the last version when it was uh when it was bigger and they were allowed to have bigger fleets? Yeah, you know, I have 730,000 now. I think I should just upgrade my colonies some more. I mean, I could just upgrade this to orbital works. And get even better, or I could upgrade to a mega port. I'm also liable to I'm liable to get expeditions. Oh, that's like all my money to get to a battle station. All right, we're gonna go for money. I'm gonna upgrade to a mega port. That should help. And how are you doing? Oh, your station's almost done. Good. Oh, six six fleets stacked together. All right. Oh, there's a, that's a D apogee. Dang, I would take an apogee as a heavy cruiser. It's kind of a light heavy cruiser, if that makes any sense. It's a tank. Black market. Nothing all that good. Yeah, hill sunders are nice. I've had, I've had good experience with hill, su hill sunders. Yeah. And away we go! Well, Persian League has been coming up pretty dry. I am going to pop down, pop down to Corvus and Azeltan. I'll just check out, you know, the hegemony area. I'm I'm neutral with them. Ooh, I have some pirate activity. It's probably coming from this um, juicy pile of money sitting up here. Oh, there's a mining station. That's actually uh, sometimes nice to know where that is. And apparently there's a... Oh, there's a Desert World in Duzak. Let's take it, I mean. I'm right here. I wish I'd known there's a Desert World in Duzak. Let's see, am I enemies with Sindria? I don't think so. I don't think I'm enemies with... I think the only people I'm enemies with are Tritac. All right, Ost just finished its orbital station. That's nice. Yeah, I should go to Sindria. Oh, hey, there's like, what the hell? I never, you know, I never check these systems. I should check these systems and I never do. There are three habitables in Duzak. Since when does Duzak get three habitables? Seriously? I always have terrible luck, so I never, I never do them. Okay, this is actually not a very good. It's 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 a 125, but it's it's pretty poor. But what about the other ones? All right, so they're not terrible worlds. Like 125 by itself is just not bad, but there's nothing. Um, they're actually pretty poor worlds. Eh. Like, the accessibility on these worlds would be through the roof. You know what I mean? Like, you can build a fuel world here. That would be crazy good. 
But uh, I already kind of have my worlds. All right, yeah, I'll pop up to Asconia since you did mention that Sindria has Sindria has in eagles. Just take Sindria. Yeah, that's an option. <laughs> Hello, Sindria. How you doing? Ooh, mercenary officer. Uh, I don't really like helmsmanship. Yeah, I don't like helmsmanship very much. Lobster. Ooh, I could uh, I could buff out my Falcon lineup. I could get some Dominators. Dominators are good heavy cruisers. Uh, it's a D Eagle. I could buy a Conquest. Could just buy a Conquest. I don't have the money to buy a Conquest. No. Honestly, I just don't. I I feel like Helmsmanship is a like it's not. It's not a negative skill. Like you get something out of it, you know. You, you your ships are a little faster, a little more maneuverable. But compared to the other skills, it's just really weak. Oh, so this this eagle has D has degraded engines. I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. I could buy some falcons. Yeah. The thing is that I could just I could just build these ships. Like they want one thirty three and two oh nine. But if I go to my custom production, like I could build these for 80 and 125. I can build these for a lot cheaper than I can buy them. It's really, it's, it's eagles that I want. Because eagles are something. Let's see, Sterling says, why doesn't the AI use the Dominator boost properly? It's just a really hard decision, if that makes any sense. Um... Like, the AI tries its best. I feel like Dominators really need aggressive captains in order to, to shine. Yeah, there are often quite a few D-mods. Ooh, it's like fun bounties p popping up. Let me look at these bounties. Kind of in the ass end of nowhere, but... Um... Oh, that's actually really nasty. I don't sure I can take two dooms. Like I'm happy fighting onslaughts and eagles and stuff, but these are basically capitals. My do, dooms are basically capitals. Um, I do have Xyphos. Meanwhile, this one's actually really easy. I might just do that. That's a nice easy fleet. Nearby too. And so is this. You know what? I'm going to go do Pirate Station to Bounty. I don't think I'm going to do the Ludic Path, because Ludic Path bases are usually battle stations. And I don't I don't have a heavy bomber fleet to take care of battle stations. Ah, mercenary. Aggressive with gunnery. Absolutely. That's a good officer. Uh, Dominator for sale, but again, I can just build it. it says Kruor. Let me go to Volturn. I guess I, sh I should be che checking these markets. I haven't been checking them. Another mercenary officer. Timid. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> So there's that D eagle. There's a falcon P, but so this is something that Vera talks about. Falcon Ps are are really good in attorney. They're not. Maybe I should just get a falcon P just to see how it runs. I could just get a falcon P just to like laugh at it and make it a Vera fit. I do have reckless officer for it. Does my reckless officer have missile skills? Um, yes, my reckless officer does have missile skills. But a lot of, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I might, uh, I might turn this into a non-SO Falcon and buy this Falcon P. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to buy this Falcon P. 
it's 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 silly. This is not at all what I wanted. I wanted heavy cruisers, but I just want to make a Vera ship. Now I don't think I actually have um I don't think I have Sabos on me right now. Ooh, actually I have real really shit for missiles right now. Vera's hammer. Oof. Yeah, I don't. Okay, well let me um let me fly around to the other. Let me go back around and see if they have medium missiles. I think Vera actually only has one A at the end of their name as well. Let's see. This has typhoons, better than nothing. I'd have to check the files to see if Feyre has one A or two. I think it's one. I could be wrong. And how about you? Do you have, um, I mean, you have HVDs. HVDs are nice, but not, I'm always low on medium missiles. Not only am I always no, low, but I can never, ever find the, uh, I can never ever find the medium missile, I mean the missile blueprint pack. Let's see, Sterling has a question. I don't mind at all. Does the AI get smarter at higher difficulties? Nope. So there's only two difficulties in the game. There's the easy mode and normal mode. And the differences between those are just stat changes. So there's no difference in AI between the two. Currently, there's no like, in the base game, there's no AI colonization or anything like that. The core worlds are static. But I know Vera Sector and Nexarillon both add in the stuff that the main factions do. I'm not sure how, like, smart they are. You know, that's always a really hard thing. All right, well, unfortunately, I don't have... I don't have the missiles to put on this thing to make it really good. I suppose I can do um, bleh, one harpoon, one typhoon, and a pair of heavy needlers. It's not a good build. I want um, sabos, but hey, it could be worse. And I'll throw on eh, burst PDs. Sure. And it's going to get expanded missile racks. The Reapers are going to get linked. It's going to get... Oops, no, no, no. I want it to have my Reckless... Um, my Oh no, my Reckless Officer doesn't have missiles! That's my Aggressive Officer! That's fine. I'll just put the Aggressive Officer on. It might not perform with only Aggressive. Um, and you're going to get hardened shields. So this is not a Vera build because I couldn't afford, I couldn't find Sabos, and I don't have a Reckless Officer for it. This might have been a bad, this might have been a bad call. Um, to be perfectly honest, um, I don't have a proper officer. I need a, a reckless missile officer. I only have an aggressive missile officer. I mean, I could leave it no officers and jack up the difficulty. I mean, I can jack up my fleet aggression, but... Oh, I love heavy needlers. Hey, why are you... Why aren't you linked? You're supposed to be linked. I mean, it gets the job done. Oh, that was this one! Alright. The three of you are going to go together and be linked. That is silly. I love it. Oh, hey, Wingnut Cross! How you doing? I am attempting to... I bought a Falcon P, but I didn't realize that I didn't have the missiles to make it into a proper Vera variant. So this is a... Um, this is a crappy Falcon P.
How was your stream ring not crossed? Was it okay? Ha 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 ha! Three reapers at a time! Silly! Silly! <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Alright, let's see what it does against a, a falcon. Now, I don't have ITU on this ship. So that's actually a, you know, it's a shorter ranged variant. But it gets, it gets not Sabo level, but it gets some decent alpha. Yep, there go the shields. There's another couple of Reapers. Oh, it ate it. Okay. Oh, nice. Got a 14 Onslaught and a Paragon. That's awesome. Okay, I love this build for now. It seems hilarious. Now, let's see. I want to keep flying my Hammerhead for now. So I'm just going to rebuild... I'm going to rebuild this into a long-ranged... Uh, a falcon. So it gets hardened shields, gets ITU. I do have hardened shields on this, right? I don't have hardened shields. I guess I was running a little short on OP. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of guns do I have around? Heavies will do nicely. Now, I do have an ion beam, so you'll get an ion beam. And you'll get this new aggressive captain of mine. And I love LRs. Yes. I love LRs on the front. You need some of those. And... There we go. I'll link the Reapers, just for funs. What's up, Sterling? I see you going, what? Now let's see, do I want resistant flux conduit? I do like resistant flux conduits. Um, I'll put it on for now. There we go. Now let me just see. No, the AI is definitely not as good as the player, but they're, you know, they're reasonable. Oh no! Oh no! Sterling, for what middle is that? On which ship do you mean? Oh jeez, Falcon. I put you against a I put you against an Aurora for testing, that might have been a mistake. Oh oh there goes the ion beam. The ion beam is actually doing a good job. Is this Falcon gonna do it? Let's see, on the Falcon P, I put a Typhoon Reaper on. See, this is one of the reasons why I really love Ion Beams, is because this ship is, like, outclassed. Like, this is an Aurora. Um, oh, yeah, there it goes. So now that now that the Ion Beam is down, it's kind of, they're kind of stalemating, aren't they? Because this has gotten its weapons knocked out, too. This is interesting. Maybe I should put automated repair unit on more of my ships. But without the ion beam, this falcon would be very dead. And as it stands, it has a shot at winning. I'm not sure if it's going to win, but it has a shot. Yeah, keep up the ion pressure. Oh! <laughs> You don't don't want to do that though. Oh, you outrange it. Get out of the range. This is the AI flying, by the way. I suppose this is an aggressive captain, so it is trying to close the range to get a hit with its phase lance. Which is a little poor. I think it's gonna lose. Yeah, there it goes. But for a Falcon to take on an Aurora and all it has. Um, all it has is two ranks in gunnery, not gunnery, um, target implants. It's actually a fairly weak officer that I just bought. So this is a, this just shows the power of kinetics plus ion beam. And there it goes. So 
just a level... Oh, it had, it had gunnery implants, but... All right. This is ridiculous with the three linked reapers and the heavy needlers. All right, this is enough, uh, enough messing around. I am gonna fuel up because it's Syndria. Hey, yay, Syndria. Buy some supplies. Uh, buy some crew. Since I do seem to run through crew very quickly, quick save and go kill some stuff. Now let's see, I have... <sighs> Should I try this ridiculous bounty with two dooms? It's gonna kill me. But it might not kill me. I have a lot easier bounties to do. Um, like I just have this, this 320 station down here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the station then I'm going to do this easy bounty, and then I'm going to try the Doom, the Doom ship. Oops. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. So I need to get down to Beta Yaw. You know, I... Yeah, I'm just having so much of a better time. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll go to, uh... Ooh. Well, no, I will not, I will not exploit that. Not sure if I'm going to go back to Iron Tech. Iron Tech screwed me over really hard. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'm just having so much fun playing Relaxation. I've been having so much fun playing Total War 3. Um, Total War 3 Kingdoms. I keep calling it Total War 3, which is just wrong. Yeah, I might, I might admit that Iron Tech, like... I haven't quite lost, but I got screwed pretty hard, and I'm just not having fun. And you know, it's just, if I'm not having fun, then I'm not going to play it very much. And if I'm not going to play it, then there won't be streams. Alright, now where is this? Alright, I see a bunch of contacts down here. Eh, it's probably down here. Oh, hey. Oh, no, no, don't attack me. Oh, this is going to take forever. True. Okay. I am just going to do a full deploy minus my those. I am just going to do all salt and nav beacon. So against the remnants, I was really feeling the lack of range on the hammerhead because I had to get really close and I was very vulnerable to its missiles. I think this is going to be different. Pirates are low performance ships. I'm going to be able to pop them very, very fast. Now I want to see how my Vera Omen does and my counterfeit Really, it's not it. It's not even close. It doesn't have any sabos. It's just doing reaper and heavy kneeler shenanigans. I'm not even sure if I ex installed expanded missile racks on it. Why, hello there, hordes of weak ships. The kites are probably the most dangerous things here. I don't do not want to catch a reaper. Woo, sparks! Overpowered. There's a kill for my falcon. Oops. I'm gonna get out of here before I eat a reaper from something. Cool. Hello, Falcon P. You're dangerous, so you're a target. Ooh, but I'm not going to be able to really do much damage to you before I'm forced back by too many enemies. Too many enemies. There we go. That's a kill. And I do want these. Ah, there's the burst PD from the Xyphos. Actually really coming through and stopping those... Harpoon's cold. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, the SO hammerhead is so good for pirates. I see this falcon is actually doing fine. 
Where is my SO Falcon? Eh, Pirate Falcon. Go kill something. You have so many Reapers. Now I just feel bad for Enforcers. Their shield is 1.2, which just doesn't... It doesn't get the job done. Oop. This Falcon has Ion Gun. I actually need to be a bit careful. Ion Guns um, are no good. I am disabled and I gotta back off. That's just a default hammerhead. It's got a level 20 officer, so it's gonna it's gonna do good things. Uh, yep. Falcon P got the kill. You two just start ganging up. All right, now I have my ship system ready. It's high on flux. I had zero flux. A very different outcome than last time. Oh, hello there. You're overloaded. There's some harpoons flying in. I don't know if they're going to make it in time, though. They did. Nice. All right, so my fleet has routed the enemy. That was, that, that was silly. That was very silly. You can go faster than that. I gave you an eliminate command. What? There we go. Okay. There we go. Portable resupply completed. Nice midline fleet. Some silly ships. Um, yeah, second like, command. Just the omen. The omen can go and kill all their ships. Apparently. Now yeah, I'm good. Ooh, that's actually rather nice. And that is going to give quite a few level ups to this officer. Oh no! No! Well, I guess I'm taking helmsmanship. I don't, uh... I don't like helmsmanship. I'll make them helmsmanship and evasive op evasive action. At least this will be a very maneuverable captain with high acceleration, I guess. It's not like the end of the world to get helmsmanship. It's just um, an inferior skill. Da, 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 da. And probably one more just for those supplies, and because my ships are still recovering CR. Ooh, I'm over fuel. There we go. Yeah, honestly, the the thing that really got me was the no the no buying ships was really hard because I, you know, I had the industry skills. But I just didn't have... I never really got the opportunity for good recoveries. There we go. I feel like I should pilot this. I feel like it's going to waste most of its resources on, like, structural spars and stuff. But I might be pleasantly, you know, I might be pleasantly surprised that happens. Alright, let me just get over here. Just assist. Oh god, the... Frickin' sparks. That is one spark wing. One spark wing. And it's just clearing out all the missiles and fighters. Alright, am I gonna am I gonna be able to do this? Oh, I took a hit there. Was that a bomb? I think I might have taken a bomb hit from Piranha that like just spawned. There are the Xyphos. I'd really like them to fire at the station. Um, I don't know if they're going to. Alright. Oh, that was a little overkill. And I flew into it. That really wasn't, uh, really wasn't that Falcon's fault. I'm enjoying... Drover Zyphos. I feel like that's been actually pretty solid. I don't really want to tangle with their main module yet. The main modules are actually have 
A lot of firepower. Whoops. Hello. It wants to tangle with me, though. I'm just going to cross over. Protect my falcon a little bit. Eat some damage. Yeah, Xyphos is the ion beam fighter. I don't think it's overpowered. Because, like, that is a that is a full destroyer. Like, those, those Xyphos there is a full destroyer's worth of both deployment cost and... You know, oomph. But they're certainly handy. Yeah, like, they're not weak for their cost, even though they're expensive. Alright. Ooh, I have four salamanders inbound on me. I'm doing kind of some fancy turns there. I'm not sure how much you saw. Um... Whew. Gotten some kills, kind of getting pushed back. I am very fast. And you can see that I can actually dodge a lot of the streams, although I ran into a bomb. Alright, so I'm going to get in here and activate my system. I want those Xyphos. Ah, uh, just stop firing at the fighters and fire at the station. You need, like... Oh, there's that Reaper. Oh, do you see that? The Reaper hit a fighter by accident. And the splash damage did serious damage to my ship. Oop, 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 forgot. All right, getting behind a falcon. That was splash from a friendly reaper. There we go, the Xyphos is finally firing at the station and knocking out its guns. That's what I need to happen. Because... I'm kind of a glass cannon. Yeah, that's a that was very unlucky. I don't blame the omen. It was a good reaper shot, but it just hit that fighter and and hit me with a splash when my shields were down. That bomber's just Oh, just look at that. Would someone clip that for me? Th uh, daggers and then a reaper. Not only are they hitting debris. So not only they're hitting debris, but they're aiming at the invulnerable structural spar. That's not very cool. That's not very cool at all. Okay. Let's get over here. There we go. That was a good Reaper. And I did put them on linked. So I don't mind the one that hit the spar. Ooh, I need to get out of here. Ion Beam. Ion Beam proving its worth. As now this now this module is very little threat. Now that it's been ioned out. And its PD was down, so it couldn't stop the harpoons. There we go. I like ion beams. This is what this is what these should be doing. Harp there we go! Very nice Falcon P. Bringing the heavy firepower. Okay, my fleet's got that. Um, yep, Falcon P got the kill. It is just a lot of... It is a lot of missiles on a um, very resilient frame. I like the heavy needlers. Thank you very much, Wolf Almighty. It's sometimes hard for me to find these things after the stream, and I wanna, I wanna quote that in a forum thread. And I wanna quote that in a forum thread and be like, "Hey, Alex, you wanna you wanna patch us up a little bit?" Nah, that's okay. When someone clips stuff, I get not notifications for it. Um. Let's see, Sterling011, if you take a look at the blog post, there has been another, there's been a blog post since the release. Releases in this game are usually very spread apart. We're probably not going to have another release for another six to nine months, I'd say. But, um, so far, I would guess, we're getting, we're getting a skill overhaul. Like, that's been blogged. Um, 
I hope we get more, like, yeah, thank you, Wolf Almighty. Yeah, there we go. There's the, there's the blog points, blog for the skills and story points, posts. Um, I hope we get more end game content. I would like more quests, um, but I haven't, I, I, there's no official word on more quests. Um, I'd really like the, I'd really like Alex to spend a little time and make, make a condensed API for writing quests. Cause currently if you want to put your custom quest, you need to do it in like four different CSVs and three different Java files. And it's just, it's really a pain in the ass, to be honest. I've taken a little bit of, a little bit of a look at it and kind of haven't bothered, but some mods have done quests. Yeah, it just it just needs some helper functions. Like it just needs some stuff to get wrapped up together. All right. So that was actually a pretty pretty clean fight. Stations are oh sixteen days. No, I'm, I had a plan. I was gonna go north and do that crazy bounty that'll kick my ass. Um, okay. All colonies should be safe from the raid owing to their orbital defenses. That's fine with me. I don't I don't care if I lose a little bit of stability and accessibility. It's just a little bit of money. And I make so much more money right now from doing bounties. You know, once these once these colonies really take off, they'll make more money. But for right now, bounties. Let's see, you're going to get a patrol headquarters. And Dune is it's, it's 112 days on that megaport, so that's going to be a while. Okay, transverse jump. So I'm kind of ramping up my difficulties. That was my easy fight. Um, and next is going to be my mid-difficulty fight, which really isn't... It's, it's going to be pretty easy, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's, a, it's a big fleet with 20, but it has no real heavy hitters. It doesn't look like it has very many officers either. Now, they are around Volcanic World, a giant primary star. Could be the blue giant. Yeah, it's the blue giant. Okay. I sometimes build ground defenses if I'm really worried about um, stability. Like, like, ground defenses would be a good call here both to boost my stability and to give me some ground defense strength. Um, maybe I should. Maybe I should build ground defenses. I hadn't really thought of it. Yeah, I'll build, I'll build ground defenses. There's no reason not to build them. Cool, because you can upgrade and build at the same time. Yeah, thanks Intrinsic par Parity. I kind of forget about them. I'm, I'm not sure why they're so low on my build priority, because they're very useful for stopping raids. And they give free stability. And stability is equal to both higher quality fleets and money. How, you been, how have you been doing, Intrinsic Parity? <laughs> I, do have a, I do have a station. The station does a pretty good job. All right, what is the... Let's see, have I ever been here before? Oh, I've never been here. Okay. They are around Volcanic World. Well, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to jump into the jump point and find Volcanic World and make sure this is the right place. Ah, what are you What are you doing grad school for? Let's see, there's a Volcanic Bear, there's a Volcanic Bear. Oh, there's a big system. Ah, cool. Very cool. I already forgot where the volcanic worlds are. Oh, north. Okay. There's the volcanic world. I I just can't live without transverse jump. Engineering's great. Are you doing a, a master's program? I have a good buddy who just finished his uh, electrical engineering. Oh, hey, there's some there's ruins. There's ruins on these worlds. Yeah, it's only 15 supplies. Yeah, it's only scattered. Eh, really nothing. But, whatever. Nice. 
Well, that'll take you a while, but... Cool. Okay, so this should be... Should be a reasonable fight. Um, they have a lot of them, but most of them are pretty weak frigates. And my fleet is, in general, relatively speedy. <laughs> Not sure why I'm zooming in and out there. Just because I feel like it. I kind of like this Three Reaper pirate ship. All right, there's the enemy. My Vera class omen is engaging. Oh, there's a ship there. Four lashers do not have the speed or hit points to deal with that. Okay, this is a pretty solid line of the enemy, though. Um, uh, I need more interceptors. More interceptors. Actually, where's my interceptor ship? You are my interceptor ship. Go, t go, deal with that. That's what you're there for. Free up the more powerful ships to do their jobs. Oh, bang! Very nice. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, Alex has posted several times that he has no he has no interest in getting another like full time person because his experience in these kinds of games is that when you do that, um it doesn't necessarily increase the speed as much as you might think, because you have to like coordinate between people and share creative vision and he just doesn't really want to do it. And I feel like this has been his baby for so long that he's not gonna he's not gonna hire anyone else. Which is a pit. I, I mean, I'm of two minds. On the one hand, he does such a good job that I don't want to be like, Alex doesn't know best. But I do love Star Sector a lot, and I wish it was, you know, coming out faster. Ooh, Omen dropped its shield like an idiot at some point. Oh, hey, you got hit by a Reaper. <laughs> yep, that's a Reaper hit. And a lot of damage, too. Oh, hey. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Oops. I am dumb. I got overloaded because I wasn't paying attention. Dodging, 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 dodging. All right. So the Falcon P is having a little trouble just getting the final kill. So I'm just going to go in here and get to that busted armor section. Oh, I didn't quite get to the busted armor section, but that's fine. All right, so yeah, pretty much as expected, this fleet is um is not too much of a threat to my fleet. My fleet is kind of built to counter this. Ooh, Sabos! Sabos from the Lasher, enough to force me to back off. Hey, Hissing Walnuts, you are number one. With one bit. My god. Hissing Walnuts came to watch me when I was playing Total War Three Kingdoms, and I was glad for the company, because not many people, it's really weird, like, that, that game has, like, a ton of advertising, and, like, right before it came out, it was all over, like, the Steam ads and everything, but very few people watched on tri Twitch. Yeah, I did. I, I streamed it, um, a couple days ago. A couple days ago, I streamed Total War Three Kingdoms. It was okay. I'm not... That great at it. Yeah, yesterday. Yes, yeah, so like I figure, I figure most of m most of the people who like to watch me probably are in it for Star Sector. Um, I was hoping to you know start picking up some people from different crowds and you know get a whole bunch of people to watch. It'd be a fun time talk about different games, but very few viewers for Total War of Three Kingdoms. 
Okay, are we done? Uh, no, it's all good. It's all good. I have so much fun playing it that I'm not going to stop streaming it. Um, it's not... I'm really not... Uh, I'm not, you know... Like, I'd love, I'd love if I became a super famous streamer, but uh, it's probably not going to happen. So I'm just playing games that I have fun playing. And I have fun playing that game. Okay, so that was that was a fairly uh fair enough. Star Sector has been taking off lately. Um really remarkably. I mean here here I am, you know. <laughs> Here I am sitting here. Ah, good. The raid has failed. You know, I'm not. I, I, I'm. I'm not particularly fancy. I don't have any. I really should set up some of those in in stream notifications with some decent graphics. But you know, I have 37 lovely people. That's you all watching, which is very nice. Whew. Yeah, Seth is. He has a big following. It is really impressive how many people he can get. What's also impressive is that there's been a lot of other videos that have a couple hundred thousand views coming out. Okay. You know what I'm really happy about? I'm really happy that Alex has put in, um, he's put in UI scaling and he's put in better mod support. He's making the memory adjustment for mods in the launcher instead of in a file, which is just I'm so happy he's finally doing it. Um, I think the number of people who, who are posting and being like, hey, my 4K monitor doesn't work has finally got him to do it. Okay, I am going to go get my ass kicked. Um, this is a... 27 fleet ships. 27 ship fleet with Conquest and two Dooms. This is going to murder me, but I feel like it. So let's see. Baron World Dwarf System. Ooh, that could be a lot. And it's in the Namarok, Namarok constellation. I'm actually not sure if... Um, Oops, ah, just wrong buttons. I'm really not very good at the hotkeys. I'm not sure if this is in Namorak or not. Um, so I'll go check it out. But I got a couple tr stars to check. So VM parens stands for Virtual Machine Parameters because Java launches a virtual machine. Um, and so... The... I'm pretty sure what what they're doing is they're just letting... All right, so this is a low. That's good to know. I feel like Star Sector's backend is a little betrayed. Okay, there's no planets here. Um, I'm just going to jump in just in case. Uh, right, it's not here. I feel like Star Sector's performance is a bit betrayed by its age. Just because it's using, um, you know, it's using kind of an old version of Java. Um, it's using OpenGL and a lot of the new AMD cards don't do OpenGL that well. You know, I'm actually not sure. Okay, here we go. So this is going to murder me to hell and back, but it might be a fun fight. Oh god, look at all those carriers. <gasps> oh, everyone say a prayer for me. This is going to go poorly. This is going to go so poorly, I'm deploying my shepherds. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I have had good, um, I have had good remnant systems in the past. I don't know. I really don't know if there is some extra goodie spawning in remnant systems or not. Uh, 
Okay, they have afflictors. They have dooms. Oh, they have multiple afflictors. That's just fun incarnate. Officer afflictors. And thunders. And there's the mines from the doom. Do I, does anyone watching watch Drakinifel? Drakinifel is a oh god, and there's the there's the missiles. Drakinifel does a really good um, like mine mine impression. He's a he's a naval history YouTuber. Hey, we got a kill. A gremlin has died. Okay, I have been talking instead of paying attention. My fleet is actually holding up pretty well. Um, boo. Oh god. Oh god. So, so many mines. LRPD lasers saved me from all but one mine. I'm still overloaded though. Oh god, that was, uh... I don't have the range to approach the enemy. Whew. My AI ships are doing really good, though. Um, they're actually holding the line. So the enemy, hopefully, will run down on CR. And I, I need these squalls to run out, actually. The squalls are pretty good. Okay, ooh, 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 I have an opportunity. I have a good opportunity to kill a couple carriers. Um, shit, I gotta take care of this wolf first, though. I don't have enough hit points to tank, to tank a mining laser wolf. Okay, but I do have a good opportunity here. So, Fat Owl says, "Why am I flying a hammerhead with battle cruisers in your fleet?" Um, oh no, this ship is gonna die. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, Omen. Omen, get over there and save that ship. So this is an SO hammerhead with dual assault chain guns, and it's just so high firepower, and I just have fun flying it, mainly. Oh, get out of here with your Sabo. There we go. Okay. Okay, this ship is still alive. This Omen would be the perfect escort for it, but I might lose that Falcon. Yeah, saving Private Falcon. <laughs> I hope so. So this this hammerhead is a is exactly as long as I get in position, um, it does insane amounts of damage. Oh God, Reaper! Ooh. Like this is an officer drover, and there it goes. A little vulnerable to these thunders, though. Hold on just a sec. Sorry about that. Now, how's my fleet doing? Um, the Falcon has survived. Um, cool. I need to get back down to the action. So I have... This hammerhead has four light dual machine guns for kinetic DPS. Okay, is this doom is actually hold on. I wanna I wanna pause this and see what's happening down here. This doom is actually taking pretty severe damage. Nice. Phase beams. Phase lances are good against um the burst DPS will catch them as soon as they leave phase. Okay, I need to take out these this carrier squad. Um, and that'll relieve the pressure on my strike ships. There we go, there's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, I did lose the falcon. Um, yep, that falcon finally ate it. So one falcon down. I think I might win this fight, though. Um, yeah, this is going really well. 
I'm not sure I can take that conquest by myself, but I'm not by myself, am I? Alright, I gotta peel off and handle this. It's too dangerous. Ooh, exactly like that. Too dangerous, it's too dangerous. A tier spinning. Claws, claws, claws. I am so screwed. I'm still alive, barely. Oh jeez. Okay, so there's another, there's some more stuff up there. Um, okay. That's going to CR out. These phase ships are CRing out. Alright, my shields are down for just a little bit. Oh, shields back up. Shields back up. And the Xyphos have protected me from the strike fighters. Whew, well that was a crazy wild ride to keep that hammerhead alive. Ooh! Oh, it's overloaded. Come on, fire, fire your missiles. I know you have more missiles than that. Your last poor conquest. Yeah, I don't have the industry skills. Oh, but I do have an officer on that dro on that Falcon. Yeah, I have an officer on the Falcon, so I will get it back. I wonder which falcon that was. Okay, so the enemy heavy hitters are dead, but they still have a lot of carriers left. Um, and yeah, it's unwise to discount carriers entirely. But I think I've got this. Yeah, I'm actually um. I'm actually very happy with how the LRPDs on my Falcons and, and Hammerheads and how the Xyphos and Spark suppressed the mines from the enemy dooms. Um, they were a lot less powerful than they could have been. Um, it just goes to show that, you know, distributed point defense is extremely valuable, whether that be fighter-based or ship based. Oh, oh no 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 no. And here I am yapping away instead of paying attention to the strike fight fighters. Alright, I'm actually actually I'm actually gonna order a full assault. Because when you're dealing with carriers, it pays to be aggressive. Now I do want to try to get around the Mora if at all possible and take out the Heron, because the Moras are tough targets. Oh, there's an overload. Do I have anything in range to finish it off? Um, oh, that's just gorgeous. Gorgeous amount of damage. There's that, there's that Falcon P with its Reapers. You know, a lot of people say they're not good because they run out of ammo, but that one's doing really well. I wonder if it has any ammo left or, it's, or if it's like out. Um, I might transfer command into that at, at some point um, to check its ammo. Now I am gonna I am gonna eat it in supplies. Um, I'm suffering malfunctions. So it's going to cost a lot of supplies to get this hammerhead back up into fighting shape. All right, this is this is over. So I'm going to I want to transfer into the Falcon and just see how much ammo it has left. Okay, so it is completely out of missiles. That harpoon I saw was the last one. Um
140 crew. I lost my Norn. Okay, so I did lose. I lost one Falcon to take out two Dooms Conquests and a whole lot of carriers. That went really well. That went really, really well. Um, and yes, it, it. Oh no, not degraded engines. No, this is going to bring my entire fleet speed down. Well, I guess that's the price I pay. I'll have to. I'll have to recover this one or replace it, but I'll recover it for now. Or should I just build a new one? Nah, I'll recover it. That's fine. Ooh. I'd almost rather prefer double maintenance, so that brings my fleet burn speed down by one. Okay. Well, that was an awesome fight, but I think that's going to be my last fight for the day. Let me look to see who's streaming, and I'll do a raid. So that was actually a really fun fight. Um, the Esso Hammerhead on the flanks taking out the carriers. So let's see, so who is Star Sector? Twitch. See Wolf. Let me see who is who looks nice to raid right now. Um, I don't, I don't know any of them. So how about what is Tiblet doing? They're doing stuff. Sure, we will raid uh, Tiblet. I don't, I don't know them, but. That should be fine. They, they're playing. See you, Hissing Walnuts. Cool. Well, thanks everyone for dropping by. I hope you liked it, and catch you next time.